A transformer is an electrical device that transfers electrical energy between two circuits through mutual induction, without any direct connection. It operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction and consists of primary and secondary windings. Transformers are used to either increase or decrease voltage levels in a circuit and are crucial components in electrical distribution systems. If a transformer malfunctions, it can disrupt the entire distribution system, preventing the transfer of electrical energy. Transformers can suffer from mechanical failures, electrical damage, thermal damage, and winding deformities. Therefore, transformer testing is essential to ensure proper functioning and to prevent failures. Transformer testing is conducted to verify the specifications and performance of a transformer. This testing is crucial during the manufacturing process to ensure that the transformer meets specific design and performance criteria. To minimize electrical failures, mechanical issues, winding deformations, thermal failures, and insulation breakdowns in transformers, various types of testing are essential. These tests include Type tests Routine tests Special tests Pre-commissioning tests Periodic or condition monitoring tests Emergency tests First discuss type tests. These are conducted to ensure that a transformer meets the customer's design expectations and specifications. These tests are performed during the manufacturing process on either a prototype unit or individual units within a production lot. The purpose of type tests is to verify and confirm the basic design of the transformer. The type tests for transformers include the following measurements and tests. Measuring winding resistance. Testing the transformer turns ratio. Testing the transformer vector group. Measuring impedan impedance voltage. Measuring short circuit impedance. Measuring load loss including short circuit test. Measuring no load loss in current including open circuit test. Measuring insulation resistance. Conducting dielectric tests. Testing temperature rise. Performing no load tap changer tests. Conducting vacuum tests on the tank and radiators. These tests help ensure that the transformer will perform reliably and meet the required specifications. Let us discuss routine tests. These are conducted to verify and confirm the operational performance of each transformer in a production lot. These tests are performed on every manufactured unit, excluding the temperature rise test and vacuum tests. The routine tests include Measuring winding resistance Testing the transformer turns ratio. Testing the transformer vector group. Measuring impedance voltage. Measuring short circuit impedance. Measuring load loss including short circuit test. Measuring no load loss in current including open circuit test. Measuring insulation resistance. Conducting dielectric tests. Performing no load tap changer tests. Conducting oil pressure tests to check for leaks at joints and gaskets. These tests ensure that each transformer meets the required operational standards and performs reliably. Now DISC is special tests. These provide valuable information to users and are conducted during the maintenance and operation of transformers. These tests include Dielectric tests Short circuit tests Measuring the impedance of three phase and zero sequence. Measuring acoustic noise levels. Measuring harmonics of the no load current. Measuring the power consumption of oil pumps and fans. Testing components such as Buchholz relays, pressure relief devices, temperature indicators, and oil preservation systems. These tests help ensure the transformer operates efficiently and reliably throughout its service life. Let us discuss pre-commissioning tests. These are conducted before the transformer is officially commissioned at the site. These tests ensure that the installation process is correct and that the transformer's performance matches the results obtained during factory testing. Pre-commissioning tests include Operational checks of the protection system Insulation resistance IR measurement Measurement of capacitor bushings Measurement of voltage ratio turns ratio. Measurement of vector group or polarity. 
Measurement of winding resistance. Measurement of transformer vibration. Magnetic balance test. Frequency response analysis FRA. Measurement of floating neutral point. Measurement of short circuit impedance and magnetizing current. Operational checks on on-load tap changers OLTCs. Stability measurement of differential and restricted earth fault REF protection. Measurement of bushing current transformers BCTs. These tests help ensure the transformer is ready for reliable operation once commissioned. Let us discuss periodic condition monitoring tests. These periodic or condition monitoring tests are conducted to enhance performance and regularly assess the condition of transformers. These tests ensure that the transformer continues to meet customer requirements and are performed on site at regular intervals, such as weekly, monthly, or annually. The frequency of these tests depends on the type of transformer and its usage. These tests help detect faults at an early stage by continuously monitoring the transformer's performance. For example, if the insulation resistance measurement falls below the normal value, it indicates that a defect may be developing. Regular monitoring allows for timely maintenance and prevents major failures. Now come to emergency tests. These are conducted on site to identify and address issues or damage, damages in transformers during operation. These tests may include measuring high temperatures despite efficient ventilator operation, checking winding resistance, and analyzing the oil used for cooling the transformer. I will at the end summarize all these tests. Transformer testing involves various procedures to confirm the specifications and performance of transformers before and after installation. These tests ensure that transformers operate reliably and safely under different conditions. Transformer testing can be broadly categorized into two main types, factory-based tests and on-site tests. Factory-based tests. 1. Type tests. These tests validate the transformer's design and its ability to meet specified criteria. They are typically performed on prototype units and include Winding resistance test Transformer ratio test Vector group test Impedance voltage short circuit impedance and load loss test No load loss and current test Insulation resistance test 2. Routine tests Conducted on every unit manufactured to ensure each transformer performs correctly under normal operational conditions. These tests include Magnetizing current test Insulation testing Dielectric tests Leakage tests 3. Special tests Customized according to customer requirements to provide valuable information for operation and maintenance. Examples include Temperature rise test. Noise level test. Short circuit test. On site tests. 1. Pre commissioning tests, performed before the transformer is put into service to assess its condition after installation. These tests compare the results with factory test reports and include insulation resistance test. Dielectric tests. Polarity and phase relation tests. 2. Periodic condition monitoring tests, conducted regularly to monitor the transformer's health and performance over time. These tests help in early detection of potential issues. 3. Emergency tests, performed in response to specific incidents or faults to diagnose and address problems quickly. These tests are crucial for maintaining the reliability and efficiency of transformers throughout their service life. Let us discuss few question answer. What is the need for transformer testing? Answer is to verify the specifications and performance of the transformer according to the consumer's requirements. How to maintain the transformer? Answer check for oil leaks. Use filtration methods to remove dust, sludge, and dirt. Periodically monitor for loose connections on both sides of the windings. Clean bushings properly to avoid cracks. Conduct periodic dissolved gas analysis. What is the purpose of insulation resistance measurement in transformers? Answer is to measure the insulation resistance between the primary and secondary windings HV and LV with respect to earth. What is the purpose of winding resistance measurement? Answer is to ensure that the resistance of all phases matches the design values by measuring the resistance of the primary and secondary windings. 
What type of relay is used in transformer protection? Answer is the Buchholz relay is used to protect the transformer from internal damages such as short circuits, winding faults, and insulation breakdowns.